business of helping you. Dear man, would you live under Ibrahim's boot? For that is where... Yes, okay. ...supplies which her castle. I'd give him over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. Here's more than enough coin, friend. Boy, Jesus, you're a better customer than your needling partner. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. I should be cautious around here. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. <laughs> Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike.
that's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanis, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You spend too much time locked in that fed itself, Uke. Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.
Soon enough. There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor. See that our flatches of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Bring those men here. Idris. Eivor, have you dealt Idris with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her sprinkles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Eivor, Giedrich, and victory! So keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. Right, I'm in. Loves me. Show me what lies ahead.
you see? Springles are large bolt casters. I must disable them. Cast about this land, my friend. more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men.
say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigur Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now! Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on, then. Your master of AIDS. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance. Read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flat-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Come <laughs> 
Great. You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate.
You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrich's care. You will see you're treated well. I will. So long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. Those rocks they had in their camp, the ones shaped like thingies, fertility stones, bloody primitives. Rainbow sky bridges, too. <laughs> It's a riot. You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait? ...in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before... ...with Sigurd... ...in a dream. Not once... ...a thousand times. A thousand? What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve better. Please, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours, to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. 
You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll got you, troll woman! Tush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. Good to see you, darling. Ranvi, our work is done in Axenaford Shire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table.
full case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kyotve followed. The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke, a very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. <laughs>